Okay. Okay, so today probably will be the last day for uh, BBL. Uh, if we still have some uh, review, maybe next week we will have some review. But if not, then next week we'll be focused on uh, preparing your report. So I, I'm using the time for you to prepare a final report of our course. Okay. And if you have any questions regarding the final report, please uh, please let me know. Okay, uh, maybe you need to know uh, the details on your report, and maybe not clear what you need to do. Okay, so basically, it the topics and the content and how the structure will be. It's 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 really up to you as long as you have uh, the minimum requirements okay, that that I have uh, posted in Google Classroom. Okay, so for today, we will have last presentation from uh, Jordan. Okay, so I hope you're ready, Jordan. Let me stop the presentation. Okay. And please, Jordan, if you're ready and you can start. Um, okay, perfect. Did my screen yeah. already? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, good morning, Prof. Iman and friends. Today I want to give a little uh, brief about my my project. And I want to talk about trigonometric formulas. And from for this trigonometric formulas, uh, we have actually five formulas right it is uh, for from some formulas difference product double angle and half angle and as you can see uh, there are some formulas from each part you can see from the sum we have a uh, sign a plus b uh, the formula is sine a cos b plus cos a sin sine b, and for cos a plus b we have cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, and for tan a plus b we have tan a plus tan b over one minus tan a tan b, and for difference we have uh, sine a minus minus b it equals to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b and for cos a minus b it equals cos a cos b plus sine a sine b and for uh, tan a minus b we have tan a plus tan b over one plus tan a tan b and the next one is for the product formulas we have uh, for the product formulas, we have the formulas. We, uh, we have number two of uh, in the front, so it's two sine a cos b. It equals to sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. Uh, next one is two cos a sine b equals to sine a plus b minus sine a minus b. And for the a plus b uh, is the angle. Uh, next one is 2 cos a cos b equals to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. Next one is 2 sin a sin b is equals to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. For, and for the difference from 2 cos a cos b and 2 sin a sin b is for uh, and for 2 sin a sin b there's a minus from in the front of cos a plus b next is double angle actually uh, i've explained in my video how from where we get these formulas and the result formulas is like this sine 2a it equals to 2 sine a cos a and for cos 2a we we have three formulas it's cos square a minus sine square a Next one is 1 minus 2 sine square a 
and the last one is 2 cos square a minus 1 it is actually we we have to use the uh, identity of trigonometry and the next one is tan to a it equals to 2 tan a over 1 minus tan square a and the last one is for the half angle for the half angle we have to divide it by 2 we have to divide the angle by 2 so it equals plus plus minus square root of 1 minus cos x over 2 for cos x over 2 it's plus minus square root 1 plus cos x over 2 and the last one is tan x over 2 it equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x and for the application for this trigonometry formulas uh, actually I can think of we can measure the Uh, the angle of for the sun and for the construction workers also they use for measuring angle when they uh, when when they when they are building uh, a a constru uh, yeah, a construction like a building uh, actually I can uh, actually for the reward application it's only uh, kind of like that for measuring angle in the or measuring the the sunshine from the uh, the sunshine to the building like that and I think that's all I want to explain so my presentation thank you okay thank you Jordan for the presentation so let's open some question if you have any question any question from from Malfi you can write on the chat box <coughs> because I think the trajectometry is uh, basically one of the uh, the ba basis of one of the foundations uh, on uh, several uh, several concept on engineering, right? So um, I think I have a, a question for Jordan. Uh, how do you get the? Um, I mean, you 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 uh, show showing us the formula for all the trigonometry, but uh do you happen to know where do you get the formula from or have you found any maybe article uh um, actually prof for the sum difference and product i i have ever seen but uh, actually i forgot how to oh uh, from where we can get that formula but for the double angle i know how to how to get that formula at the end okay uh maybe let me share my screen let me just a thoughtful idea on how we can also think the uh, trigonometry for the other students if you have any question you can write on the chat box okay let me share my screen Okay. Okay. To start uh, the proofing for the formula, okay. let me start with uh, let's make a rectangle. Okay. Let's make a rectangle, and then let's make a triangle inside, and make sure the triangle is having a ninety degree, at least at one sides okay and then let's make this 90 degree okay let's make this is 
alpha, okay, and makes uh, this one beta, okay. Now, because rectangle, each side's each uh, angle has a uh, 90 degree, right? So this is 90, 90, 90, and the whole the left bottom part is also 90. So I will have this part here is 90 minus alpha plus beta, right? Okay. Okay. Let's start with if this side over here is 1. Okay. Let's just assume that this is 1. So if this is x, okay, then the cos cosine alpha is x over 1, right? And sine alpha is, if this is y, this is y over 1, okay? Got it, right? So I can also say that x is cos alpha, okay? And y is sine alpha. Okay. Now, this alpha beta here, alpha plus beta here, with the angle property, it also appear the same as in here. So I can also write this part here is alpha plus beta. And we can also see this is 90. This is 90 minus alpha plus beta. Of course, the last one will be alpha plus beta, right? Okay. Okay. Now, same thing. If we write this is um, u and this is v, okay, this part here, okay, then, okay, cos alpha plus beta is v over 1. Or we can also write v is. cos alpha plus beta, okay? And the other one here, u, it's become the sine. So the, the, the length on the bottom will be sine. Let me draw a line to make it uh, a length or measurement of the sine alpha plus beta. All right. Okay. Now, the other part on our angle, we have beta, 90 degree here, right? And the last one here, this angle will be 90 minus beta. Okay? 90 minus beta. And the angle here will be also beta, okay? Now, we have, okay, we have, this is cos alpha. This is something here, right? Something here, we can uh, uh, assume maybe, maybe A, okay? And let's assume maybe here. Let's say this is B. We can start with, uh, let's say we have, uh, we can have uh, cos beta. Cos beta is A over cos alpha, right? If you look at this, so cos beta here, okay, is alpha uh, a, okay, a, this li line here, over the hypotenuse, this cos alpha, okay? So, 
we can write that A is cos alpha cos beta. Okay. And we can also have sine beta A is B over cos alpha. We can write B as sine beta cos alpha. Okay. Or cos alpha sine beta. That's the uh, same. So we can exchange this with A with uh, cos alpha, cos beta, and B with cos alpha sine beta. Okay. Okay. Now look at the other part, the, the small triangle. Let's let's look at the small triangle here. Let's take this as, uh, let's just say x, okay? Because I will also rewrite x with another form. So let's just x and y like that, okay? Now, we have also beta, and we can also say it here, cos beta is equal with x over sine alpha. And x is sine alpha cos beta right oh, let me change this sine alpha cos beta and sine beta is y over sine alpha or y is sine alpha sine beta and we can also exchange y become sine alpha, sine beta. Now, we have all the sides of the triangle, uh, the rectangle, complete with our terms in alpha, beta, in trigonometry, okay? So, look at here. This is the one terms that we want, okay? Cos alpha plus beta, let me write here. Cos alpha plus beta, is equal with this line here, cos alpha cos beta is the full length of the rectangle. Okay. Let me write minus the, the, the yellow color, right? Okay, we got the first one. And the other part is the sine alpha plus beta. This is cos alpha sine beta plus sine alpha cos beta, or to make it easy to, to look the pattern, we can write the yellow color, right? Sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. And we have now our double angle formula. Okay. And then if okay, if beta is equal alpha, then cos two alpha becomes cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. And if the sine has a uh, same angle, so it's become two alpha. We can write this is become the same same uh, uh, equations, which is two sine alpha cos alpha. Okay. So from those rectangle, we have uh, our uh, some some proof through some geometric uh, geometric shape geometrical shape, okay? And then through some formulations also, we can also find that sine alpha minus beta is sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. And if you plus this with sine alpha plus beta, And if we add both, both of these 
equations, we can cancel this part and we will have sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta is equal with two sine alpha cos beta, which means that sine alpha cos beta is equal half sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta. And we can have the product sum product sum formula. And sometimes using this trigonometric identity can can really be uh, can really helping, especially if you deal with the integral integrations. Okay, it's better to have when you have like sine squared alpha integral uh, the alpha. We need to change this into this because it's it's pretty much better for integrations. It's much more easier to solve, okay? And I think there are uh, uh, other other uh, proofing parts that using some geometric shape like this for other formula in trig trigonometry. And I think you can also prove that as well, okay? And yeah, this is just, just my, my additions on uh, trigonometry. Uh, the more you have um idea on how you get the formula from and whether you can derive it uh, it will be much better uh in uh in compare with you just um look at the formula memorize the formula sometimes your memory will not always remember right sometimes you need to do some calculations and then you need to uh, at least if you feel not really good at memorizations uh, I think you can minimize your your memory for uh, other part okay, I think so for example this part here I think better to memorize uh, this one and then if you have the, the 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 difference one you need to just change the sign right just change the sign so for example, if you have cos a minus b, you need to just change the sign here, right, in the middle. Okay. All right. That's just my uh, additional. Okay. Um, no question for Jordan? Guys, no question for Jordan? If not, let me send you the. Okay. okay. Uh, so we have nine presentations, right? From nine students okay, for uh, the first presentation and until today. Let me stop the presentation first. Uh, check your chat, chat box. Okay. I send you the forms. Okay, I send you the forms, uh, Google Forms. Uh, basically, this Google Forms is our evaluations for all the presentation. Uh, there are three category that I put inside: the content, the creativity, and the presentation itself. The, the explanations. So you need to 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 give score to your friends. Okay. Uh, except yourself, okay? So for example, we have nine presenters. So in the Google Forms, we have eight, eight, uh, eight presenter. So I write the first presenter should be the one that the first, like, like for example, uh, Jordan is the last presenter, right? So the first presenter for him is similar with the uh, with the the order that we have, okay. I also attach the uh, the file for the, who who is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. Okay, so please please uh, give score to your friends. Okay, 
and for those who are, didn't come today, um, uh, I will skip their score. And uh, if you have any questions also for the uh, for the report, please also let me know. Okay, so I will give you time for uh, filling in the form okay, for today's class. And if you finish filling in the forms, uh, you can leave the Google Meet. So uh, I will end the class up until now. Yeah. Yes, Jonathan, precisely. So if you, you are number three, then the, the third presenter will be the fourth, yes. So if you're the first presenter, the first presenter you need to fill in is the second one. If you are the second presenter, the first one is the first presenter. The second one is the third one, OK? I hope you understand. Okay. So there is only eight category with a total of uh, nine presenters, OK? Okay, if you finish, you can leave the Google Meet. If you finish, you can uh, lift the commit. 